Uh, hello everybody. This is what I like to call a creation of L Tower. Um, is basically a giant fucking mage wizard castle that I put in my hardcore world. This is probably over the span of like a weekend. Boy, did things change in a week. Um, so, pretty much the general design is just one layer of stone, then cobblestone, and stone again, as you can see here. That's a pretty simple design. The secret is one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So it's six, and then. That is. That is okay. Yeah, so talking about life, um, I actually at the time of recording this, I broke up with my girlfriend of two years, and it's just a tough time. You know, I, I don't want to go into too much detail, but that's I just had to say it. Uh, so, moving on. Just building up the the stone right now is just kind of just I'm just trying to get as high as possible. Um, I think I believe I have one, two, three, four, seven layers, so it's it's decently high up. And at the time, I didn't have any feather falling, and all I had was water, so it was definitely very easy for me to die. But anyways, I got sidetracked uh, very easily, like I do, and I said, you know what, fuck it, I want. I want a beacon to put in the middle of the tower. So what oh get fucked, idiot. Um so what I did is I went and made a wither skeleton farm to, for the beacon in the center of the mage house. The L Tower, which I haven't even fucking completed yet. So this is me uh creating a wither skeleton farm. Basically it just it works. Why the fuck is that so loud? Okay, whatever. But pretty much, all I do is just just make it so that they can spawn on the the cobblestone. And this is me getting ahead the first time in slow and fast mode. Boom! I got a freaking head. And so, anyways, basically, it just makes it so that things can spawn in the Nether Fortress and just more spawning areas. If I want this to work faster. I just do it. So it spawns here, and this is this is sick. This is sick. Wait, wait for this. One, one head. I got two heads in a row. I muted myself, unfortunately, but I screamed so loudly. So here's the actual wither fight. Um, I used the in the tunnel technique, where I basically you just mine a two by one, and oh wait. There you go. You just mine a two by one. And yeah, I'm taking a fucking deep breath because I'm nervous as shit. It's a long two by one and basically you just can't break the blocks quick enough, so I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna watch me do it. I believe I shoot myself a fire arrow right here. Yep. That scared the shit out of me. I go for a milk bucket. Yeah, and low mill though is pretty easy. And I also got some uh, diamonds out of it, which is kind of funny as well. So. My sidetrack has been completed, and now I will go back to building the house. This is another funny clip. I accidentally um, threw my sword. I went to go pick it up. I'm like, okay, they can't. They can't pick it up. They all have swords. <gasps> that probably would have two or three shotted me. Even with the armor I had on. But I just took out my bow and shot them in the fucking face. Like, bang. Bang! Bang! I 
Thankfully, it didn't go away, but I got it. So this is this is the beacon. Just wanted to show placing it because this is a pretty proud moment of me because the first time I've ever beaten the wither or beat placed a beacon in that matter. And I was, you know, I was pretty hyped to do it. But even in like normal Minecraft, this is the first time I've ever gotten this far. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And now I'm going up to pretty much make the roof, which um, I decided to make out of netherite, uh, nether, uh, not netherite, I'm doing too many snapshot videos, nether brick, uh, nether brick, and look at that, that's so cool. Yeah, so here, I made some work on it, it's just basically going to look kind of like a wizard hat, honestly, but let's see what it looks like. I'm going to make this go out more towards the radius, and I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Because it looks kind of really fucking chunky. So, we'll figure it out. So that was the one thing I had noticed about this. I made it red, because I thought it looked pretty cool, but it, it the, the diameter of the tower was so kind of too big. Right now, I believe it was 33 blocks across, but... I wish I had done it like something closer to 24 or 20, probably like 25 is actually probably would have been perfect, but whatever, live and learn, so, but, oh, fuck my ass, yep, fuck my ass, there's my dumb ass, but pretty much I made it, I made it bigger, so it looks like it kind of fit onto the ceiling a little better, and yeah, this build was pretty fun, uh, it took quite a long time, and it was, you know, it was pretty fun. And let's see the final product. I think it came out really good. The stuff on the top was really needed. And I love the beacon coming out of the top of it. And I'll keep you updated if I add more stuff to the world. And if I edit L Tower anymore. But uh, yeah, this has been L Tower. Thanks for watching, y'all.